I thought it was abysmal. I mean, abysmal. You're right. It was an abysmal performance by the prosecution today. Uh, if that's all they have, uh, I've said it before on your show, I don't see them getting past an immunity hearing. Right Benjamin Crum says, well, may, they, they, they didn't want to show their hand. They didn't want to show all they had. Do you, well, do I, you know, I guess that's the best. That's a nice spin to put on it. But frankly, if that's all they have and everybody was expecting, oh, there must be more, there must be more because this probable cause affidavit was so thin. Uh, if this is all they have, I don't see how this gets past an immunity hearing. Sonny, do you agree with that? No, I don't agree, and I'm, I'm sorry that I'm not here in New York today uh, to disagree with Mark in person and in technicolor. But the bottom line is this, you know, was a bond hearing, a motion made by the defense. The prosecution relied on the affidavit for probable cause. They weren't going to tip their hand today. They were going to rely on that affidavit. Well, then, and we Sonny, know I'll that that affidavit is you're not a complete recitation of the facts. You're Mark, you know me, that. You're going to tell me based on that affidavit that you ever thought you were going to keep him in? I, everybody, well, you well, know, that, there was a the lot question, of people Mark. yesterday, all of you pro-prosecution people were all over the airwaves yesterday saying he's not going to get bond, there's a presumption, blah, blah, blah. Uh, ah, yeah, so not me, though, that, not explain me. Explain that to me. Absolutely. Yeah, Bottom yeah, line I, is I, the I, standard I, is no, no, so let, very... Let's not all talk over each other, because Sonny answered the question, then Mark, I'll ask the, you a question. The standard is so very high for the prosecution in terms of a bond hearing in Florida. It's beyond, beyond a reasonable doubt. So I always suspected that George Zimmerman was okay. going to get some sort of bond package. Mark, Mark Everybody Nijem, knew let me that. Bring it, Mark Manijay, the, the $150,000, you say that's well within the realm of where, where it should be. That's, you weren't surprised by that. Well, I was, I was predicting that it would be about 100000 So that's a normal uh, realm. I would say, though, that I disagree with Mark. He, he classified this as an abysmal hearing. I think he's being very generous. I think that <laughs> the fact of the matter is, is that um, it, it, it really didn't even rise to that level. The reality of it is they went ahead and secured by being unprepared by their own admission that they did not have a, um, any proof whatsoever of who initiated this or how the encounter occurred. There is no opportunity for them to come back and say that they were wrong when they swore to that. They swore to that under oath. That's all the evidence they had. So when, so ben, so Mark, when, Benjamin, claiming, when, Benjamin Crump, when Benjamin Crump says, well, they didn't want to show their hand and talk about all the evidence they had, you say that you don't think that's true. Well, as to these two key um, points, of course it's not true because you take the stand and they, you get asked under oath, what else do you have to establish this or that, which are essential elements of this case, and they say they don't have anything else. They don't have anything else. That was said under oath. Okay. They can't come back so him, and claim otherwise. Give, give Mark credit. He's willing to slam the prosecutors harder than I was, and he has to practice down there.